Okay, so we're we're gonna go into that part. So you're you're good with the uh, with the conjugation, right? The past, present, and future. I mean, I don't have it all memorized, but I think no, I, no, no, you don't yeah. have to. You don't have to, as long as you see the. I, I mean, as long as you have, you know, the pattern written down. I don't expect you to know it. Uh, it's important to just just have it handy. Uh, but as long as you have a sense of it, that's fine. So with the na, we said that it's you know the na, the past, the present, and the future. That's the the format. And if you look at the examples, we have there the, the root, right? For example, to bathe this ego. So the past, you just add the na to the root. And then the present is the na, and then repeat the first syllable. Right. So it's na li ligo or na li libre, right? And then uh, the future is just changing the na to ma. And that's for the na. And it's, it's the same. And that's why the na and the nag are together. Because the nag, you, all you have to do is add the G. It's the same. It's the same format. So... So let's let's look at some nag words. Just so uh, this is just the format one and format two that uh, we talked about. Right. Um, the action and the pronoun, uh, and then again, you don't have to memorize the pronouns as long as you are familiar with the patterns. This is all external at this point. Uh, you're just you're still in the process of internalizing all this and it takes a while but at least what you are seeing is you're familiar oh I, I know the pattern uh, but I of course as with any kind of knowledge to retain it it has to be repeated and then that's why I don't expect you to to actually know it right away no 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 that's not how it goes so uh, however what I wanted to emphasize here is the pronoun you uh, it the the this is the i there indicates it's it's format too so ikao i you are and this is maliligo at malilibre is taking a bath and being free and then of course if it's in format one where the action precedes the the pronoun it's the, it's the word ka. So ikaw and ka are both the pronoun you. I just wanted to emphasize that. And so here we go. The nag has the same uh, format as the la. See that? It's just that, it's just like just adding the G. Yeah. Nag, nag root, nag first syllable root, and mag first syllable root. So this is just another conjugation, basically. So yes. it's another, it's another table. Yes. And there's seven yes. now. Yes. yes. And, and that's why uh, what I mentioned uh, last, uh, before last week, that the two sets of verbs is the one that has the na and the nag. And the other set of verbs is the um. The reason oh, right. why, yes, the reason why the na and the nag are put together because they have the same pattern, and the um has a different pattern, and so those are the two. And again, na nag are pretty much in the same. So right here, so they will be walking. That would be will be walking is future, so it would be. Mag and then repeat the first syllable. So nag lalakad. Yes, mag mag lala. They will be walking. And then, when you were saying this, I think last class, when you say it like that in the conjugated form, it doesn't need to have the nagayon at the end. Nagayon. Yes. yes. It's no. like in, it's implied when it's conjugated. Right. 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 It's implied. That's right. You can, if you want to make an emphasis 
in that, you know, like, uh, like we're going now, <laughs> like you're saying that, right? Uh, so uh, you're going to say that uh, you're going to make that emphatic. But sometimes when you just say uh, we're walking now, naglalakad na kami, right? The na is already, we're walking now or we're walking already. Naglalakad na kami or kami ay naglalakad na. Or you can say naglalakad na kami ngayon. So that's when you say, yeah, go ahead. The word for they again? Ah, sila. Sila. So it would be, it would be, uh, sorry, nag lalakad, um, do we, and then siya, what, is there anything in between them? It was the na, right? Yes, the na. And already nasila. The na, the na word doesn't stand by itself. These are some of the Tagalog words that have to be said with other Tagalog words. The na is like already now, you know. Gising na, gising na, oh, tayo na, right? You remember? Uh, you probably heard that. You know the na. It, it has to be said with another word. You can't. It's there's no such thing as just the word na. <laughs> uh, sige na, right? Tayo na, um, uh, lakad na, go walk now, right? So now is always going to follow the action word. Okay. Except, except when you use the ka. Oh. Kumain ka na, right? Or maglakad ka na, magluto ka na. Otherwise, if it's not the ka, Magluto na tayo, magluto na kayo, magluluto na siya, right? It's na will always follow the action except when you use the pronoun ka. Okay. So the sentence would be, did I say it right with the na then? So was it the na glalakad? Uh, and then is I'm just trying to remember where the the C uh, goes. Does it go before or after? After. If it, again, let's go back to the let's go back to this. All right. Oh, okay. So yeah, okay. So I did the, say it right. Yes. So this is format one. Format one is when the action, when the sentence starts with the action. Format two is when the, the sentence uh, uh, starts with a pronoun. And when it starts with a pronoun, you will always have the I, the linking verb I. So that's format one and format two. Let's see. Right, right, okay. Let's see, I, I'm just going to make Oh, sure. that's right. Like you said, the last one, which is why I got confused because you say except for after the ka. Er, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so you say, you say here, Maliligo at malilibre ka na. So ka, again, so there's at least, you know, two rules here. Uh, and this is because it's uh, the ka and ikaw. Ikaw will be used in format two. Ka will be used in format one. So because it starts with the uh, action. But okay. but if it is if it is a other pronouns like sila, siya, tayo, ako, the rest of the pronouns, it's always going to be na follows. I like that image, na follows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, and there, there's all that, that whole uh, thing uh, uh, where, and that's one of the things you're going to be learning. It's the patterns. Really, it's all patterns. Once you get the patterns, the, the, the learning of how to speak it becomes really just a matter of putting them in place. Um, so... So, uh, 
And you have that in your exercise guide sheet that um, yes. you have it attached in the email. And I, I, I want to make sure that you have that so that you can just print it out and put it in a binder and just go over it. And I, I sometimes encourage people just to, you know, paste or, you know, just put it in a refrigerator, the, the pronouns. And then, you know, uh, just make the pronouns there and then the, the format just to, just to see it and get used to it, you know. So, and then, of course, the... Okay, so, so, so it'd be, so they're cooking right now, so it's present tense. So it is. Uh, so here's the format one, format two. There you go, the one below. You can see it. So pronoun by action. Hmm. So it'd be uh, you. Why can't I remember? You yeah. are cooking. You said so, cooking super sentence. Um, what is the present tense of Luto? So it's uh, mm, mm, would be Nog, right? Yes, Nog. So Nog, the Nog, Luto. Very good. Um, and so, and you. You again in, in in when you started with an action now Lulutu, is it ika or ka? Uh, ka in this yes, yes. Nagulutu ka. Yes, Nagulutu ka. How about you are cooking now? Nagulutu ka nayon. What is the other one if it's not nayon? Nagluluto ka na. Oh, that's right. The na. Yeah, the na. Yeah. Na. na. Yeah. Luto ka na. Yes. How about uh, uh, they are walking now? They. They are walking now. In the same format we did, or another mm -hmm. format? Mm -hmm. Same format. Okay. Same. Okay, so present tense. So it's what did I say? Nag so nag lalakad. Uh, na uh, nah. na silo. Excellent. Na yeah. Yes. Naglalakad na sila. They're walking now. They've started walking, or they they're walking already. Hurry up. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you see? Naglalakad na sila. Okay? Sila ay naglalakad na. That's yeah. right. So, so, like, if you were being catty with someone, you could be like, naglaluto to ka na, like you're already cooking. Right, right. Naglaluto ka like, na? Yeah. Uh, or, or uh, well, uh, you will be cooking? You will be cooking already? How do you say that? be cooking you, already uh-huh you will be so, cooking so what's the conjugation so for that future tense is that mog yes so mog, mog laluto um uh mm, mog laluto the you uh mog laluto you oh my gosh laluto Ka. Ka. No, yes, yeah. the ka. Magluluto ka na. And ka na. In, yes, and in Tagalog, in Tagalog, you know, it's very sing-song, right? Notice this. When you say, magluluto ka na, you see the magluluto ka na goes down. That is like saying, you're going to cook them. But when you go, magluluto ka na, going up, it's like asking, are you cooking now? Are you going to be cooking? That's that's the the sing song of Tagalog. Eh, magluluto kana, as opposed to magluluto kana. That's that again. Again, again. Magluluto kana. 
You see that? It goes down. The, the, the tone goes down. It's like an order. You're going to cook now. But if it goes up, the tone goes up. Magluluto kana, kana, as opposed to kana. Do you see the difference? Do you hear the difference? At yeah. The end, magluluto kana, going up, or magluluto kana. The first one, magluluto kana, is like it's a question. It's a question. But if you say magluluto kana, going down, it's an order. And that's that's the suppleness of the Tagalog, you know, of Tagalog. Uh, it is a sing-song language. So so if you if you're if you're um, if you want somebody to cook now, magluluto kana. You say it going down. But if you're asking someone if someone is going to be cooking already, magluluto ka na, na, going up, da 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 You see the difference? I think I'm still processing. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It, 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 there is that sing song. I just wanted to have you hear the sing song. Da 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 da. As opposed to magluluto kana. And that's just further down the 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 learning, uh, as you say, processing it and learning the language. Because uh, a lot of a lot of folks uh, you know they learn the language without learning the subtlety. So you, even if you speak the, the, the language, but if you uh, miss the subtleties, then you're a co complete giveaway that you're, you're just, yeah, you know, you're, you're someone who's trying to learn to still the language, but there are those who actually learn the language in a way that they, they hit it along the subtleties and people can't tell the difference. <laughs> they can, uh, uh, wow. Your, your Tagalog is really, spot on because they they hit the the, the subtleties and that's one of them the note the the sing song part of the of the language yes does that does that uh hit a whoa i didn't know that kind of well, it's cool to like hear it and like yeah like yeah. you were saying just like the song format yes i think yeah it's yeah. kind of it, it's different than like visualizing it in a table though that's helpful too i'm just saying that yes it just gives it a perspective absolutely absolutely and it's a it's a it's a different kind of uh it's a that realm of of the of i i guess even in the chinese language there's that sing song kind of and even the vietnamese language i can hear the sing song part of it but especially in tagalog where the first part of the the first part of uh, you know during the first few days, we learned about some Tagalog words that are spelled the same, but have oh. yeah. Um, sorry, yeah. I had a long day working in the yeah. outside, so I'm just like my brain is starting to like relax as I'm like doing this. <laughs> <laughs> just 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 fine that's fine Ashley that's fine just just uh listen just just oh okay all right okay so let's see one more laba laba to wash clothes we washed clothes already in format too so we it's kami, right? Yes, kami. So kami, kami. Uh, wait, yeah, kami. Or uh, and Bill here. And then um, na. No, because that's before the action. So it'd be I. So it's actually I. Yes, it's not sure. 
So it'd so be uh, Kami, I, yes. uh, and then already. So it's past tense. Yes. Uh, Naglalaba? No, or is it just Nag? It's just Nag, nag. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's Naglaba. Already? Right. Already. Uh, oh, and then, uh, shoot. N n what was that word? Ka? The no. na. Na. Nah, dang it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so kami, kami, I, naglaba, ka? Na. Oh, uh, dang it. Na. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Kami, I, naglaba, na. Right. Yes, good. How about they hid already? I'm always putting the already there just so that you can get used to the na. Yeah. They, <laughs> they, they hid already. So, so in format one, so action. So it's passed again. So nag, tago, siya. They, they. That would be siya oh. is he. That's right. Uh, sila. Yes. Nagtago. So, nag, nagtago. Sila. Okay. And so the, the already? No. The already? I keep doing na for some reason. <laughs> yes, yes. And the na, again, to get used to it, because you're not using the ka, you're using sila. So nagtago. Oh, it, in between. Yes. So be, nag, nagtago na sila. Yeah, <laughs> you're getting used to it. Yes, yes. Nagtago na sila. Very good. Yes. So let's see. Ah, remember how we Americanize? You know, when we uh, use uh, Americanizing with the Yeah. And oh, we have us. to add the dinner, right? Yeah. Um, for just us, that was, I don't remember the ones that were inclusive and exclusive. Yes, the exclusive is Tayo. Tayo. So, so in format one would be. Oh, just uh, us. Ju just us without you uh, is Kami. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, Kami. Just, That's yeah. right. So, can I, uh, Kami, but in format one, so it'd be. So it'd be nag dinner, uh, na kami. Yes! <laughs> yes! And then you are breakdancing. Uh, ikaw, or wait, action. N uh, you are, so it's present tense. Nag, wait, yeah, nag bre break dance. Uh, na ikaw na no. break dance. So if it's action, the what is the we, we use the you na ikaw but the ka no, would be ka right. So go ahead. So na, na break dance na ka ka or no ka na yes. Na. Say it again, say it again, say it again. <laughs> Nog break dance. Ka, ka na. Yes. Yes. The Nog break dance, I'm repeating the BR, right? So it's break dance. Yeah, uh, actually, no, no. You're actually repeating. This is one of the things. You're, uh, if the word in English or any other word, has two uh, consecutive consonants, right? Like break. You, know? you can uh, just say it as is. You just take out the middle consonant. Nag be break. Oh, okay. So it'd be nag, nag be break. Okay. Yes. As in That's travel. That's why sounding kind of weird to my Right, mouth. right, right. And like in travel, right? How do you say travel? Nag. That travel, yes, without R. right, right. Without. Nag, uh, uh, using the blackboard, not, 
Hmm. Nag. Nag. Using the blackboard. Just use the blackboard uh, as the word. Uh, blackbird? Yes. Nagba blackbird. Bla yes. Blackboard. <laughs> <laughs> Nagba blackboard sila. All right. And so, yes. So uh, uh, the, uh, the rule for using that would be to take out the middle consonant in repeating the, uh, yeah, the, the repeating the syllable. All right. So, yeah, it's it, you're getting there, Ashley. I, I tell you, you it's this is this is uh, this is a quite a journey for first for your first encounter. But let me just say, when you get used to the to the what is this the pattern, it should be it should start getting in, in internal. Now, do you want to, let's go, I'm going to go back here and stop share okay. and I'm going, and I'm going to go into some of these. There, just, uh, and I will write it. And some of these you already know, just to get you. So what is the past tense of lakad? Nag lakad. Right, present. Nag lakad. Yes. Future. Mag lakad. Yes. Laba. Nag. Laba. Good. Nag lalabad. Nag lalabad. Nag lalabad. Nag lalabad. Mm -hmm. Oh, ba. Mm -hmm. Salita. Uh, yeah. Salita. Okay. Salita would be nag salita. Yes. Nag sa salita. Good. Mag sa salita. Sa salita. Yes. To wash. Is that how you say that? What? How do you say the age again? Hugas. 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 To wash. To wash. Nag hugas. Nag hugas. Mag. Who Yes. Let's see. Let me find one here. There's no, not one with the. Uh, but you see how it goes. So, uh, so how about to read? Nag pasa. Mag babasa. Oh, Nog, yeah. Sorry. Nah, and then that one's Mog. Mog Babasa. Yes. Right. And that's that's the pattern. Nog, Nog, and then Nog for syllable, Mog for syllable. And then, and so, and then uh, reviewing back on the, uh, let's see. Uh, Oh, I have to look for the, let's see, here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to stop the share here and go to another set of words. And this are, these ones, right? Okay, so to get confused, see that? Oh, not not the two. <laughs> it's, it's it's actually going to get your 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 tongue twister there. 
Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was looking at. <laughs> yeah. Too low. <laughs> too low. <laughs> well, I, I, it, I realize you know time goes by quickly, but uh, yes. Uh, so I think at this point, Ashley, you know, you've uh, you just. Uh, start to get uh, acquainted with the uh, with the uh, what is this the uh, conjugation of the na nag all right the na nag and then format one and format two right uh, where we start with the uh, what is this we start with the action and then the pronoun right and then format two is the pronoun the i and the action and then, of course, the the uh, what is this? The uh, uh, the pronouns you, the you of ikau and ka. Ikau is used in pronoun two. Ka is used. Uh, I mean, uh, format two. Ikau I, and then in format one, nagtago ka. So ka is in format one. Ikau is in format two. So there you go. Awesome. And, I appreciate and I, the yes. <laughs> I will forward I will forward this this uh this uh I always forward the the slide uh present uh you know the presentation but uh next week we'll have everybody get used to the conjugation the format and then of course now because we have a past present future we, uh, I introduced there the, uh, you know, the terms the, of time, right? We will eat tomorrow. Uh, we will eat tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we will go out and eat tomorrow afternoon. So you, you're now uh, putting them all together to, to this make- This is a really mm -hmm. a random question because it was kind of like, you were talking sure. about time. Sure. When you do telling time, what yes. format do you use? Because some of the books that I've looked at, like, show the traditional, like, quote unquote, Filipino, and then other yes. people have told me that they just use Spanish. Oh yes, uh, yes. Uh, the time, the days, the days of the week are all in Spanish. Lunes, okay. martes, miércoles, jueves, uh, and that's one of the one of the things I ask folks. Why do you think it's in Spanish? Whereas before, sure. yeah. yeah. Uh, before Spain came, it would be early in the morning, late in the afternoon. That was how folks tell the time. Uh, late in the evening, tomorrow morning, you know. That's because, of, uh, you know, because of production, because of, uh, you know, uh, uh, mer uh, what is this, trade, uh, right. you know, uh, the, the whole thing about regimented, right? Uh, it's going to be tom uh, tomorrow, Thursday. That's why, you know, it's all been introduced by Spain. A la una y media is the time of the day in the Philippines. Is all They're all said in Spanish. Okay, yeah. so that's what I was trying to check out because I was surprised by that in regards to just, like, the time. Like, if you're telling them the hour, and minutes, yes. like, people, like combine them yeah. like that and i was like oh man okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, and he can, there is no uh, way of telling time that in tagalog i mean it, it's it's uh time and uh, day of the week and month of the year they're all in spanish that's that's just it just you know that's just how it integrated itself into the philippine culture because oh, well, i appreciate i yeah. appreciate this <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's the kind of stuff that you know. Uh, that's why you know, a learning language is also learning history. Uh, you know, so, yeah. Okay, Ash, it's time for you to to rest up, and uh, you have a great weekend, a restful weekend. Uh, you've been busy, huh? Yes. Oh fruit. my God. Okay. Well, you take some rest and I will send this uh, slide presentation. All right. And what I say like until next time. Hanggang sa Hanggang sa susunod. Hanggang sa susunod. Sa susunod. Sa susunod. Nod. Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. Hanggang. Uh, until the next time. 
Hanggang sa susunod. Right. Hanggang sa susunod. Yes. Yay! Yes. <laughs> Salamat. <laughs> Salamat. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye.